So this is the weepy spot. I've made a repair here and some moisture has seeped out of the hull and infiltrated into the layers of fiberglass before the resin was able to harden. And so this repair is no good. I'm going to grind all of this off and redo it. And the reason for this is there's foam in the floor above and that has some moisture in it. And some of that is leaking through where there used to be a through hull fitting here. And the original patch wasn't very good and apparently it was leaking water through it. And then my repair. On top of that just got soaked with water. So this is the floor of the boat inside. And I've made a hole and I've dug the foam out down to the bottom where it looks like someone laid a piece of plastic or something over the through hull hole before laying glass on the outside and I've given it a couple of weeks to dry out and so hopefully there won't be any more moisture coming out of the foam and through who knows little cracks in the hull but to make sure I've mixed a lot of hardener in this first batch of resin and I'm not going to lay any glass cloth or anything. I'm just going to paint this resin on and hope that it sets up quick enough that no water seeps into it and it will actually seal this area. And then I can make a more structural patch that goes on over the top of this. And now that's hardened and I can roll on some more wet resin and start laying little pieces of fiberglass in to start my repair. And I get all the air out of the fiberglass cloth before laying the next piece on. And each piece gets progressively a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger as I continue with the repair, kind of filling in a spot that I had dished out with the grinder and at the end there will be one great big piece that goes over the top of all of it and once that resin is hardened then I can smooth this area in with fairing filler this is like Bondo but for boats I think it has um, hollow glass spheres or something in it real tiny ones that make it a lot lighter than Bondo and it seems to sand quicker than Bondo and it usually takes me two layers of this the first layer will get it pretty good and then I'm wiping down with acetone and I've I've sanded through in a few places there and there's also always a few little valleys or low spots that didn't get filled in the first time but usually the second layer gets that and I can trowel it fairly smooth at the second layer and that looks about like this and this will need a final sanding before I can cover it with gel coat. Ninety percent of fiberglass work is sanding. You sand and sand and then you get to do the next thing and then you sand some more. So I've laid the gel coat on very thick and I put on several layers of it and each layer accumulates a few more chunks from the roller but I'm gonna sand through all of that at this point 
And I'll do this a couple of times and add some wax in with the final layer of gel coat once it's ready for the for the final layer.